Hi boys and girls! Guess what we're doing today? We are making some LOL furniture! Look at how cute these little cribs are, or bassinets. So we're making these little bassinets, they're so cute. They rock back and forth, and look at how cute they are. They're really easy to make with some recyclable materials, things that you have at home. So let's get started on this tutorial. Cute little baby bed. We are going to use just a little cereal box. So I have this box of cereal that is empty, and I'm going to cut it out, and we're going to use the cardboard in here. Two pieces out of my cereal box, and this one is two inches wide, and this one is three inches wide and four inches long. And this one is probably eight inches. This one doesn't have to be exact, but let me show what we're gonna do. We are going to take our little plate here, and this is just a circle, and we're just gonna draw a circle like this. Like that, and we're gonna cut out two of these. And now with this rectangle, we're going to measure three quarters of an inch on each side and top and bottom too. And we're just gonna mark off those lines. So I marked it off with a red marker so you can see. And then you could just take a little scissor or a blade and you're just gonna score it so that you can it's easily bendable. So then you can bend it like this and like this on both sides. And then we're gonna trim the sides over here. Like that. And then now we can fold it in and we have this little box. Isn't that cute? So now we have our two pieces and our box and we need to put it together and cover it up so that it looks nice and new. It doesn't look like a Cheerios box. So what I'm gonna do is first, I am going to measure out how big of a piece I need to cover this box. And now we're just gonna take some glue and then glue this on, like that. And you wanna fold the pieces over, like that. And now we're gonna take another piece and we might to measure this one exactly. I'm gonna trim this piece out. Now we're gonna just take our scissors so that we maintain our little cuts and cut the edges like that. Like that. And with this piece of paper, you can either remeasure it or you could just trace it. So we're just gonna trace over here so we know where to cut. And we're gonna do the exact same trims over here. Okay, so now we're gonna fold together our little box. And then you're gonna glue it together and then hold it in place. So we're gonna put it together and we're just gonna take some glue. While I'm waiting for my inside to be dry, I'm going to trace out this shape over here to cover out, and we're gonna cut four of these out to cover the outside of our to cover the outside of our little crib. So the easiest way to cut four out actually is to just fold your paper into fourths and then cut it out. Okay, so now I cut it out and then I have four pieces like this and then I, they're attached like this on one side, which is fine. And we're gonna glue this onto each of our cardboard. My pieces that are glued only on one side like this and I'm going to take, this is my little crib and I think it's not completely dry, but you see my clips that I clipped on and I'm going to take out the clips and I'm going to insert my little interior so that it's nice and covered on the inside. So we're just gonna fold this piece in like this. And you see this will slip inside here. You see it's not quite dry. If you have any excess over here, you could just trim it so it's nice and neat. 
So now you have the inside of your crib. And before I do that, I'm just, I'm just gonna pull this out a little. The glue's a little wet, but I wanna staple this in on this side, like this. So I should have done this before I put the inside in, but that was bad. And we wanna center it and make sure that it's on the bottom like this. And just staple it in like that. And then you can tuck that back up. So you should have probably did it, I did it in the wrong order. And then now you can glue this part in. So that's why you left this open so that you can cover up the staple with this side. And you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So now you put everything together and you have the cutest little crib. I'm gonna teach you how to make a little blanket for the inside. Little cribs, and you see they rock back and forth for a good night's rest. And if I wanted to make a little blanket for inside, all I'm gonna do is take some toilet paper. There's toilet paper, you can just tissues or coffee filters, whatever you even have, a little scrap pieces of fabric. And I'm just gonna fold it up nicely like this and just fold it in here and then just tuck it in inside so it's nice and cozy. So now our little babies can sleep in there. Look at how cozy she looks in there. You can even take another one, another, a second one, and just fold it over and wrap her in there so it looks super comfy. Like that. Look at how cute she looks all snuggled in. Let's, let's swaddle her. Wrap, her. wrap her in here like this, like a little baby. Oh my gosh, look at how cute she is wrapped up in there. Babies. Oh my gosh, I want to sleep in there too. Teacher's pet wants to sleep in there. She didn't know how to make room. We need to make more cribs for our little babies. Oh, look at the little sugar. Rock a bye, baby. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for my big giveaway. Let me know what piece of LOL doll furniture you would like me to show you how to make next. Until next time, bye now.